I slept here last night, but today was my first day from start to finish. Um, so last night I got like the worst night of sleep, um, some of the worst sleep that I've had in a long time. And it's always been an issue for me. Um, I have episodes of night terrors and a sleep specialist told me that when I'm having these, um, these night terrors, I go through like small seizure episodes. So um, that's always been a, an issue for me. But just recently, and uh, I made a, a serious effort during this prep to get into a good sleep pattern and maintain it and make sleep a priority. And it's been working. And then last night was, was brutal. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what it looks like. I got some clothes, I got a heater, a mattress, pillows, blankets, pretty much everything I would need. Um, this is our locker room. Bathroom. Pretty nice little shower action there. Well, we got coming on. You know, it didn't really hit me all of it yesterday. You know, I was excited to get started and excited to get in here and back into the gym, continu continuing, um, you know, my journey on this prep. And I packed up my whole life, essentially, and brought it here all in one day. And all of you have moved or helped someone move it's an exhausting day and then so i moved in trained couldn't sleep um like i was just wired i mean i'm i'm working and we have plenty going on so i feel like during the weekdays it'll be no issue like i, I stay plenty busy and then i get to train and and do my cardio and all that i can eat whenever i want of course So as you guys see, I shaved my head, for those of you that know me. And I had a bunch of people reach out to me on Instagram, concerned, like, are you already losing it? You shaved your head? No, I haven't lost it yet, um, more than just a regular day, but it's just the only haircut I could sustain down here by myself. So that's the story on that. But it's funny how many people you know, we got a great response to everything, and I really appreciate everybody that, that personally reached out. I was I was surprised, even just by by the people that I know um, that cared to reach out and say good luck or that they think that this is badass, which is cool. I appreciate it, but a couple people reached out and they were like, "This is so weird that you would do this," or you know, some guys. Some people were bitter, I think, because I get to use the gym. And I get it. I, you know, there's a crazy situation going on in the world. There's a million more important things for everyone to be concerned with than lifting weights. To me, it's, it's just that fire inside me is lit only by this. So if I have to isolate myself in here and take on whatever the mental consequences of that might be, then so be it. When I told my mom about this, she was, she was concerned. She supports everything that I do. My family is tremendous. They support everything that I do 100%. But I think they were a little weirded out by this. Even knowing me, I think they were a little weirded out by this. And um, a couple of my friends, you know, that maybe don't bodybuild or lift weights, they thought it was pretty weird too. 
it's funny, I heard this quote the other day. When you're passionate about something, everyone supports you 100%. And they're like, oh, that's your passion. You should go for it. That's great. And when you're obsessed with something, people start getting concerned. And that's what I am. I'm obsessed. I have no choice other than to be obsessed because I don't have great genetics in a, in a, in a sport where you, know, you have to put in the work, but the, the top level, they have genetics that the rest of us can only dream of. And it's that way in any sport. If you run or if you play football, some people just have a higher genetic ceiling. So the only way that I can do this is to, to not miss. Um, because I don't have, you know, the same, the same deck of cards that everybody has. And I'm not complaining. And you'll never hear me complain about my genetics or anything like that. Because they are what they are. I can control only what I do and my effort and in my consistency. So I control those. But I have to be like this. If I wanted to be really, really good at something, if, if you know, I have goals that people would laugh in my face about in bodybuilding, and maybe I'm nuts, who knows? We'll see. I believe them. I don't know if anyone else would, but I have to, I can't afford to be rational. I can't afford to be logical about this. You throw me down here and we'll see. It's going to be quite an experiment, I think. And I'm sure there's going to be ups and downs. Even today, the first day, you know, and I didn't realize how incredibly blessed I am to have this opportunity. I can't even believe it. I'm so lucky. And, and I was worried about people resenting me and being like, you know, who the f is this kid? Like, who is this mediocre bodybuilder that gets this chance? I get it. Trust me. If it, you know, if it wasn't me, I would probably feel like that. I talk, I talk about the first show that I ever did all the time. I got absolutely smacked. And feeling that changed me forever. It gave me, it was like an itch that I could never scratch. And everyone has that. Everyone has something that pulls at their soul more than anything else. And for anyone that's hearing this, not even bodybuilding, it doesn't even have to be lifting weights. If you hear this, it's the first thing that you thought of when, I, when you heard me say that. So, I got that itch and you know, it just made me feel like I didn't belong. That was, that was the worst feeling, the worst part of it all, is thinking that you belonged, going into it thinking, yeah, I'm a bodybuilder. You know, I, I'm, I'm getting on stage, I'm competing, telling people that you're competing. And then you get up there and you don't belong, there's nothing worse. And it's my biggest fear in terms of bodybuilding. And that's, you know, it's tough. It never, I feel like I've continued to progress, but you never really grow out of feeling like that. Which I think is a good thing, because it drives the hell out of me. It, it has made me completely obsessed. To the point that my family is concerned about the decisions I'm making because I'm sleeping in a locker room. There are some really good guys at these shows. And even if, even if these guys don't have all the same equipment, they're still going to be a favorite to go into this show because of the way that they work and they find a way. Champions find a way. So now there's a whole other layer of fear to it because I was gifted this gym. I have no reason not to bring it. 
listen to me. It's the first day, and I feel like I'm losing it already. Until next time, take care, guys.